Well, only Channel 9 is showing you something that's happening coming out of the ground. One of largest transportation projects in Central Florida, and they're making some good progress. They are indeed, and this is a great view of the State Road 516 Lake Orange Expressway, really starting to take shape in West Orange County and Lake Counties. Uh, Channel 9 anchor Alexa Lorenzo shows us the progress on the highway and the interesting features that are going to come with this new roadway. What was once open land is now one of Central Florida's most ambitious road projects. This is State Road 516, the Lake Orange Expressway, connecting State Road 429 to US 27. Sometime very soon, we're going to have really uh, increased mobility and connectivity between West Orange and Lake Counties. Only Channel 9 was invited to see the work so far. About a year and a half into construction, crews have made tremendous progress. There's over 100 uh, individuals working on site, and you can see they're all working. They're moving heavy machinery. Central Florida Expressway Authority's Brian Hutchings took us to the first phase of the project, the State Road 429 interchange. Crews are getting bridges ready for placement, building walls, and adding lanes to the 429. So far, they've placed 1 million cubic yards of embankment. We're looking at potentially opening this up in 27, like uh, mid-27, uh, and that will, that will actually help improve some little local conditions. And that includes Schofield Road. Orange County traffic data shows daily traffic increased more than 67 percent from 2023 to 2024, showing the need for another route. It's massive. It's one of the fastest growing areas, not just in central Florida, but all of Florida. Come the new year, the four and a half mile corridor will all be under construction. Crews will start the segment between Cook Road to the Orange Lake County line in April. Then come June, work starts for the final segment from Cook Road to US 27. This stretch will feature in pavement electric vehicle charging. It's a pilot project that we have that will have a fleet of equipped vehicles that will actually, when it's built, be able to charge on the move while they're driving over that section of the 516. It's going to be a complete game changer. But there's still a ways to go before then. All construction is expected to be complete by 2029. In Orange County, I'm Alexa Lorenzo for Channel 9 Eyewitness News. All right, thank you, Alexa. And take a look at this. They look like just old broken pipes, but they'll soon be transformed into a resource that will help local businesses along our coast. Orlando Utilities Commission donated the poles for a new artificial reef that will be placed about 15 miles east of Port Canaveral. Experts say marine life flourishes on the concrete and with these structures that will provide them with some, again, much needed habitat. This will create a new fish habitat and expand fishing and diving opportunities. It doesn't look like much, but it won't hurt the environment. And nope. in fact, it will help all of our fish. Nice. Mm -hmm. And fisher people. Nice. <laughs> there you go. Yeah.